and, and there's a knock at the door, he's, and he knew that it was happening. So I put on his hat, you know, I said, well, I gotta fly, I gotta be ready for friends, friend. He, then he goes into his southern dialect, you know, and uh, he opens her, why, why, uh, Colonel, how are you? Come on in, I haven't seen you in a long time. And the Colonel can't come in. And he, and he says, gee, Colonel, what are you doing up this top, uh, up here in the Northwest this time of year? So well, I'm going, up, I'm going around to all, all of the, all of the, 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 the Kentucky Fried Chicken houses, and I'm making them, I'm changing them. What changing them? What are you doing? Well, you know that's 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 uh, that gravy that that's, the, the, they're serving. I wouldn't feed that slop to the ho hogs. Jesus God. And all the advertising agency guys sitting around the back are going crazy, you know. I wouldn't feed the gravy that he's feeding everybody to the slop to the hunt. So anyway, so we laughed and kept on going and moved to the next moved to the next cartoon. But yeah, that was the colonel. He was a good guy. We could have eaten Colonel We could have eaten a free Kentucky fried chicken forever. He thought we were great. Well, come on out the house. Well, come on out. I want to give you some chicken. I'm with you. Now, now, listen, next time you come by, you get free chicken. Wherever I am, you get free chicken. Oh, we could have eaten free chicken forever. <laughs> what did we? Hold no. the gravy. <laughs> Hold the gravy, yeah. <laughs> Hold it. And then and listen, the hogs are complaining. But I'll never forget that. Why well, wouldn't feed that slap to the hogs? Come on, Colonel, you, you, you got an image you got to keep going. We did that, we did that, we did that. He was just a good guy. Uh, and I move along, move along, I'm thinking of McDonald's. When, when, when they opened, McDonald's needed that. Naturally, they needed publicity, they needed people to come out. And uh, they, they, they were advertising the Apache show. Well, all of two or three McDonald's commercials a show forever. And uh, so we started doing Saturday commercials, one o'clock every Saturday. We worked at another, another, another McDonald's. And uh, uh, there was another place the guy came, come on back for free, we free dinner, come back for free. And we would show up. Uh, uh, yeah, it's got our McDonald's. If he recognizes, if they recognize us, they wouldn't. Yeah, that was a, that's a great story. We were down. We had done an appearance in in, in uh, 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 Tacoma at a at a school raising money. And then on the way back, there was a McDonald's on the way. Hey, there's a McDonald's, and he said, "Okay, I'll stop in." And he was right. Drove in, stopped in, and walked right up the front. And uh, the guy says, "Hey, I got free dinner for you." And, uh, Come on, we don't do that. We don't. Blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, what do you want? Uh, well, I wanted this and a, and a quarter pounder and a little bit of salmon. And I said, uh, I said, and how much does that come to? And the guy looked at this as $7.40. And I held him and said, pay him with us. <laughs> That's one of the great ones I ever did. One of the great ones, pay him with us. <laughs> that was funny stuff. That was funny. Woo.